How can a fuzzy little green ball bring enjoyment to some, relationship for others, and anger to a few? Students of Indiana Wesleyan University aren't exactly sure how campus golf started, but they do know where to play it. It is a Hodson tradition for what I've understood. Campus golf, it was around when I, my freshman year, so four years ago, I think it was kind of still in its kind of just getting started because it hadn't had the course completely roughed out then. But I'm pretty sure it started here because, I mean, the first hole is right outside Hodson's doors and you end at Hodson, so it's kind of geared toward that. And students know the course like the back of their hand. There's a design course all around campus. There's a front course, and from what I've understood, there's also a back course. And you take a tennis ball, and you hit it to each different hole. And you go all the way around. Whoever wins the hole gets the point, and whoever has the most points at the end wins. But not all the rules sit well with students. Case in point? Apparently, I am supposed to give them my number if they hit me. I've heard it's a two-stroke penalty or two-hole penalty. So I'm not sure which one. I think it's something a lot of guys like to joke about, like I'm gonna aim for this girl, but it's always awkward when you do hit them. At the same time, I've heard of people, who, girls who put themselves in position of the ball, they get struck. Um, so I think a lot of the times the usual reaction is if you get hit, it's either just kind of this awkward moment or uh, anger. So I think guys don't intentionally aim for girls. I don't, I've never seen someone do that. But I mean, usually when they hit, there's kind of awkward humor and usually the guy who hits the bystander doesn't want to, but he's kind of pushing to ask in their number. I'm all right with it. I mean, it's, it's all in good fun. If you get a date out of it, that's cool. You really can't judge whether or not you're going to spend your lifetime with a person, whether or not you hit her with a tennis ball or not. It's kind of like an extra encouragement of confidence. Despite the sometimes awkward moments of the game, many students still have a favorite place to play. Probably the most common one that I've heard people like is Goodman Lawn to Front Doors of Elder because it's a lot longer and you get to pretty much pile drive it as soon as you get started. It's a lot of strategy to it, which competition plays a huge role in. For example, on our third hole, you can't just whack the ball as hard as you can because it's from the front of Evans to uh, the side door of Kim. So if you whack it as hard as you can, you're stuck in a corner and it takes a couple strokes to get out of that. You gotta hit it to a certain degree to get it past Evans and past Kim. There's that hole there, so you can't exactly just power drive it everywhere. You have to get just the right amount of hit and the right amount of angle. But more than strategy, campus golf is a way to bring students together. With campus golf, there's a lot of, I mean, obviously it's kind of a physical competition, who's the best, who can win, but also it's just a really great time to go out and you just, you know, grab guys from the hallway, we keep the clubs in the uh, LDC so people can come and get them whenever they need, get tennis balls at the desk and just go out and play for, you know, an hour or whatever it takes. A lot of times there's guys playing, we have people coming now from uh, Bowman, guys from Scripture, guys from South. So it's really cool to see it's kind of spread around campus and it's not just a Hudson thing anymore.